From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major afternoon of Afternoons LA Late as one major company that feeds millions of Americans gets a major upgrade or pivot in that earnings recession. The biggest week that there was continues to heat up as more stimulus is available and more inflation is upon us. Well, look at that latest inflationary data. We'll look back at what we learned about employment yesterday and why a new report today signals that inflation will be pervasive for a long time. That's great news for your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Real Benefits, because yesterday and the day before we had inflationary numbers that give you exciting, exciting details about how much your benefits are going to go up. And we'll look at how much at issue would happen thereafter. Inflation is not peaked, and that means a lot of money for you across the board. But why do you need to get that force stimulus check in every U.S. state? Because inflation will be pervasive, and there will be a recession. A new series of data coming out today indicates inflation is not going away anywhere, and that a GDP growth of this economy continues to stall off. Well, the latest details on your money today and why it's confusing, but the way you deal with it is stay ahead of the ballpark, ahead of the ball game. We have a lot of money to go over in today's recording. We'll go over inflation, recession, your money, your benefits, and also that big stimulus, about $100,000 in every U.S. state for you to get. Plus, we'll go over a series of new reports coming in a few minutes ago. It's all breaking news today. Economists giving guidance that there would be lower GDP growth for later this year. That means the economy's not growing that much, but also saying inflation's going to be pervasive, meaning inflation's going to continue the next year. Consumer sentiment released in the new University of Michigan report minutes ago. What did it say? I'll the latest details for you as well. And then we'll be looking at why certain stocks have rallied up in recent days and why it's too early to think that the Federal Reserve is going to change policy. I mean, they have a comedy show coming. They have a comedy show coming. They got to continue to say things like this too much inflation by the way. It's hysterical. Not happening. It's sort of like high fashion for lobster shorts or bacon on set. It's just not happening anytime soon. We're going to have a great show today. I'm excited you're here. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's cool to have final, just at least for today. We'll go over everything you need to know. It's Afternoons LA, and we have your economy. We have the recession. We have inflation. Your benefits raises. Also, the housing market taking a major issue today. And your four stimulus is the latest details on the big afternoons broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It starts right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It is gorgeous here along the coast for August 12, 2022. A major company, Walmart, is getting new guidance from a major brokerage firm. We'll have the latest details on that earnings guidance. Plus, we'll be looking at that inflationary data that came in this week and the new inflationary data minutes ago. Yeah, more inflationary data minutes ago. Plus, we'll have a preview of what to expect with that labor market and why it's important to get that for so much chunk in every U.S. state. Go on in this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Stay the second half as we go over those incredible checks, about $100,000. Go into this video and join the channel and get ready for the big money, the big lift of your benefits, the big news. It all starts right here on a beautiful Friday for August 12, 2022. Hope you had a beautiful week and stay with me all weekend long because there's going to be a lot of breaking news on this channel this weekend. Just a lot of news. Today, what does it feel like? <laughs> It feels sort of like you go to a buffet and there's no entree, just a lot of side dishes. A lot of side dishes, but these side dishes are deliciousness because the side dishes are not a massive story like a CPI or a PPI print or, you know, a housing data number today that everyone's waiting for weeks to see. But these side dishes, when you add them together, it's a meal unto itself. It's that type of deliciousness we got today on this channel first. Top economists in a new report today signal that there will be a lower gross, joke, gross national product GDP for this economy later this year. Now, remember, recession is defined as two negative quarters of GDP growth. We've already had that. That's why we already in, are in a recession. But they now say that they're expecting 
third quarter GDP to roll to roll out slower than initially thought. Again, it's going to look like a positive number. You're going to think, well, wait a second, does that mean we're out of recession? No. They're saying that GDP is going to run at about 1.4%, and that is lower than initially expected, 2.5%. Now, consumers have a lot of sentiments. They have a lot of sentiments. Um, some of them in Kentucky like lobster shorts. The rest of us don't. <laughs> <laughs> but the University of Michigan's consumer sentiment released data minutes ago, and it said that um, they're a little bit more confident at a 55.1 compared to a 52.5. Uh, what the world does that mean? I look at that, I'm like, okay. So I, I don't feel like a 52 today. I feel like a 55. And I got to record this for you. Uh, how do I interpret a 52 versus 55? I don't know. That's like two hot sauces versus one hot sauce. <laughs> You know, sometimes they put out these reports and you look at it and you're like, uh, what, what does that mean, really? Consumer confidence was a little stronger. 52.5 it down to 55.1. Uh, really? What does that mean? <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, stocks are slightly higher today um, after rallying a fourth consecutive week. A really good news. We're going to touch back on that in a second. And this is an important story to lead with. Walmart. Walmart started this earnings recession problem, folks. You remember it really clearly back in March. When they said there was major problems with this economy, they came in very dark and dirty, a target a day later. We all talked about it on this channel for almost two weeks. I kept on asking in the live chat, we can do it right now as well. Do you see less people at the checkout stand helping you at Walmart? Do you see less people being hired? Do you see hiring freezes? Do you see less people on the floor? And if you say yes, that's basically the answer that we had back in Mar back in May. But today, Morgan Stanley says, well, we don't see the concern for Walmart full year on as big a worry as initially thought. So they have now switched to a buy rating of 145 because they're basically saying that the situation may be overblown. Oh, this is big. This is really big news on an August 12, 2022 today on Afternoons. They believe that the company that really started this full earnings recession blowout that is now spread all the way from May into August may not be having that bad of a year as initially thought. This is important for you because if you work, it's important there'll be jobs. It's important if you don't work, then it shows the strength of your town's community and their economy. And one of the most important businesses in the U.S. economy may not be struggling as initially big, as, as largely as initially thought. I'm going to go out of order. I'm going to jump to another company. You'll understand this one in the context of what we just went over with Walmart. And which company is that? Apple. Apple is getting a similar pivot today as well. Apple shares are rallying on a new report that the number of phones that Apple sells later this year could be as strong as prior year 2021. Wow, that is a really strong economic, a really strong earnings report. It comes out from a private organization news site, and they say if that report is true, that consumers are going to buy as many iPhones in December 2020 by the year end of this year, 2022, as compared to 2021, that is a major shocker. That shows you consumer sentiment, shows you consumer spending, shows you discretionary funds, it shows you consumer, um, uh, consumer discretionary income, it shows you a lot. If they're going to buy as many iPhones at the end of this year that they bought in 2021, that is a shocker. Apple shares are down about 5% this year, but they are rallying really strongly. I've been featuring them broadly, just not really specifically. They're up 30% since the month of June. Yeah, a lot of stocks are up really well since the month of June. And imagine how well they are reacting to today's news. They are 0.2% in pre-market trading before this show recorded. That is fascinating, really fascinating across the board. Let's jump back to your benefits. So we learned a lot about your benefits this week. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. They're going up a lot. Why? Because they're tied to inflation. The inflationary data that came out this week showed that inflation was relatively flat. I mean, yeah, it cooled off a little bit in the headline number, but it was generally flat. Great news for your benefits. As Lynn Glenn said, I hope my benefits go up. Don't have to hope, Lynn. It's absolutely happening. The question is how much? Is it going to be astronomically as strong as it looked like in the month of June? 
it's looking almost the same number because the CPI print, the consumer price index, the gauges consumer spending released on Wednesday was down only about a half a percentage point. That is not much. That is not much. That's basically flat. And that means you're going to get the biggest lift of your benefits of a generation. Why does this happen? How does it happen? What do you need to know? It starts with understanding inflation. Then it goes into understanding how your benefits get rised up. And then it goes into the actual calculation. We'll go over that in a second as we touch back on the major inflationary stories that came in minutes ago. Plus, you want to stay with the big second half of this video because we're going to go over all this incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. There's going to be a vote on something this weekend. I'm not covering it because it doesn't concern you. It doesn't concern me. It doesn't concern anyone unless maybe you're buying an $80,000 electric vehicle. Uh, which none of us are, <laughs> unless I don't know you well. Uh, and so I'm not covering that story. And there will not be any stimulus in there. That is why I'm here, because I've been getting you stimulus since day one, and there is a lot of it. And we're going to go over that for stimulus in the big second half of this recording. We have a lot of success stories to go over. How do you prepare for this? Step one, you go under this video and become a member. Join the channel. You stay a member, and you continue to get checks. We're going to go over the notion of continue to get checks, what that means in the big second half. Join the channel under this video and get ready for those big checks in the big second half. Plus, let me go over something I haven't hit really hard. I should. I'm doing it right now again. It's this graphic. A financial cliff is just around the corner, folks. That financial cliff is likely in September. Why? There's a lot of major turning forces today that indicates that there's big problems looming for this economy for certain individuals. And let me go broadly over. I'm going to go off a script. Of course, I don't use a script on set. But I want to go off even message where I was going to go with this recording at the moment. Let me go over why. Two major reports out today are side dishes, but when you look at them, they are front course meals for you and not necessarily savory. Why? The first report says that rent prices are out of control. Out of control in every part of the United States. And we saw that in Consumer Price Index released this week when shelter, which is rent, comprises nearly 30% of the CPI, went up a lot. Landlords raised those prices out of co after COVID, and they're not lowering those prices. They got one-year leases at least, some of them are month to month, and they're not lowering the prices. Now there's a new report out today, and this is what we we're talking about. There is no vacancies. So they think they can get the price for the rent. They're not going to lower the rent. When we talk about the utilities, we know the major story with the utilities is that they're high now. They're going to be much higher later this year. As energy is impacted by hurricanes and tornadoes and certainly acclimate cold weather this winter. So just alone, the value of this channel, the value of this Purple Power community, rests in the rent and the utilities story over the next few months. Just renting utilities, this is why you want to tune into this channel before we get to anything else because those are now looming as major stories later this year. The rent is a frontline story, front page story this today, and the utilities in the United States will be that front page story. Overseas it already is because they have a major energy crisis. We haven't been hit by that yet. We will as it gets colder later this year. Now let's jump into consumer confidence. <laughs> Are consumers confident? It depends whether you put croutons with their salad today. Uh, consumer confidence came in at a 50, uh, 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 well, we already did that, a 52.5 versus 55.1. What are those consumers thinking? They're thinking that inflation uh, may be a little bit less, but not a lot less. Well, they're right about that. The major other story breaking today is, of course, this one. It is that the question of whether the Federal Reserve is going to pivot. Every time I hear that word, I think it's a dance move on Dance with the Stars. Is the Federal Reserve going to pivot in the rumba, and are you going to give it a 3.0 or a 2.0? Mm -hmm. Len, what are you going to vote? What are you going to, what type of rating are you going to give them on the uh, salsa Fed pivot? <laughs> the Fed pivot, what does that mean? It basically means, will the Federal Reserve change its policy later this year based upon changing economic developments of this economy? Never in a blue moon. You know that. Federal Reserve is never going to change this policy. Why? Federal Reserve wants 2% inflation. It's not getting it. Federal Reserve has that lowest unemployment from the generation of the 1960s. It has it. Now, Federal Reserve can come in very aggressively and raise those interest rates. And what happens when it raises those interest rates? 
recession, big problems, because businesses will not be able to afford these incredible interest rates. I'll go more into detail now, about 10 seconds. And all those people that are carrying that credit card debt, not you, but everyone else, the largest credit card debt being carried in this economy in 20 years, they are not gonna be afford that credit card debt. They're gonna be big trouble. And we're gonna go over that in a second. So that report coming in from Citibank today says those people, not me, not you, those analysts that say there will be a Fed pivot, which you just sort of visualize as a beautiful salsa merengue move on the rumba floor. <laughs> I just threw it all together. I know I'm butchering dance moves. I'm trying my best here. I am not that a ballroom dancer aficionado, even though I think I am because of my pair dances. Uh, shares. <laughs> the, the comment from uh, Citibank today says levels of inflation are still eye-watering. Wow, they're very dramatic in their words today. Inflation is eye-watering. Does that mean it's it making you cry? I guess that's... It's just, it's eye-watering inflation. I just, it's a very robust recording today. And the labor market's still uber tight. Is it lift tight or is it uber tight? Uh, so the Federal Reserve wants to keep on going with inflation back to target or labor market breaks. Target, of course, 2% inflation for them. Therefore, the upcoming labor market needs to be very weak, and the CBI needs to be a major drop across the board. Wow. So what should you take away on this? What you should take away on this is that the Federal Reserve is not going to change policy, as I've been telling you for a long time. They're going to come in with those interest rate spikes in the fall. And let me give you a replay and a preview of what I think the Federal Reserve is going to do. If you read LLA.com, the new site that started nearly 20 years ago, I had an article about this out last night. Let me tell you, it had an article out about this last night. Let me tell you what the article said. Federal Reserve, according to Allied, is going to do 75 basis points in, in September when they return. They're off in August. And they are likely to stay at 75 basis points indefinitely. I got to tell you, it's August 12th, and I don't believe any financial analyst, any broadcaster anywhere is saying that except this channel. The, the Federal Reserve is, has made very clear, whether it's Bauman or Lace da Daly or, 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 um, or, or Boulard, that they're not changing, they're not pivoting, they're not changing policy. And their last two spikes were 75. They have not worked. If you think that if, if a half a basis point increase, dec if, a, if you think a half a uh, drop of the CPI, half a uh, interest rate, half of 1% is a drop, it's not. That has not worked. So they're going to come in something aggressively. And they're going to do it until it drops, like it's hot. <clears throat> Not a dance move. And that is why I think you have to really expect 75, 75, 75, and definitely starting in September. And guess who's going to get hurt? A lot of people. First, people who have credit card debt. Second, anyone who has adjustable rate debt, like car loans. Get rid of those, as Terry Rose said. Thank you, Ally. Back in, I think it was June, I said, get rid of it. He got rid of it. Number three, will an Apple be hurt by this? No. Apple can survive runaway interest rates on their debt. They can afford it. They have, they have cash on hand for billions and billions of dollars who will not be able to afford this. Smaller tech startup companies, you know, smaller mom and pop businesses, smaller non-S&P, non-Fortune 500 publicly traded companies, they will not be able to afford this. They're going to go under. So we're going to have big problems, and then ultimately you need to deal with that um, with watching this channel as I guide you through it in the next few months. Let's jump over to your benefits. So your benefits are going up a lot. How much? Let's go over the calculations starting right now, starting with that inflationary news that came in this week. Has inflation peaked? Yes. I said this week that inflation has peaked as to the headline number, the CPI, the number one, the top the headline number. The core number has not peaked because the core numbers are still going up. But has it come down a lot? No, it's not come down. And so the inflationary number released this last Wednesday, the CPI print, was down about a half a percentage point. That's not a much of a move. It's basically flat compared to the month before. And let's look and see what that CPI has done for you in that short period of time since May. In May, it was all whopping. Eight plus percent. That's too high for the Federal Reserve. 8.6 percent. June, what did it do? It went higher, 9.1. Federal Reserve is eye watering. <laughs> are, are you eye watering? I'm eye watering. We're all eye watering. 
uh, and that raises your benefits level up a lot. So why is that? Because we need to see three months of data. Those three months of data would raise your benefits up a lot. How much? We're going to go over the calculation in one second. But it's dependent upon three months of data. The July data released on August 10th, this last Wednesday, and the, the September... The August data released in September and the September data released in October. Your SSI, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits are going up a lot. Okay, let's go over the calculation, then go over how much, and if we know anything new about that today. First, your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment. And that number is determined by another number. The, C, the CPI-W released this last Wednesday. And then the next one released a month from now, and the next one released a month thereafter. If that number remains relatively flat compared to the month of June, which it did this week, and then remains flat for two more months, your benefits are going up a lot. How much? Approximately $5,000. Some of you more, some of you less. Direct deposit, yes. Otherwise, in the mail, yes. Do you have to do anything? No. Stimulus, an enormous amount. The largest stimulus payout you will get ever on this channel. Because why? It's a lifetime. It's absolutely enormous. It's every single month for the rest of your life. How does this work? Once your benefits go up, they never go down. And this raise up is based upon inflation, which you know, because you watch this channel, is the highest inflation of a generation. You get this lift up, and then once your benefits go up, you'll never see the check you're getting this month ever again. That smaller check will disappear. You'll get this bigger amount indefinitely through the rest of your lifetime. And then next year, if inflation is 2 or 3% next year, you get another lift on top of this big lift you already have. This is why this channel works for you. This is why this community works for you, because there's so much to know. Now let's go over the possible percentage raises. Will everyone get the same percentage raise? Yes, that's the law. And what are the possible percentage raises? Well, a nonprofit organization called the Social Security Group said that the raise may be about 10.1% based upon that CPI release this week at about 8.5%. So just sort of remember those numbers. CPI for release this month, which was last month's data because it's delayed by one month, was about 8.5%. And to this nonprofit organization looking at that, they say that's about a 10.5% raise of your benefits. Social Security Chief Actuary will have an opinion about it. You'll have an opinion about it. I'll have an opinion about it. What did we learn this week? One, the reason why the number dropped is because gasoline is a very major large component of the CPI and gasoline is down a lot. It's down lower than the Putin invasion of Ukraine numbers. Gasoline today is under Four dollars a barrel, uh, three four dollars a gallon at the pump, three three sixty. These numbers are great numbers, the best numbers we've seen since February before Putin invaded Ukraine. But the analysts all say it's not going to stay there. Why? Because you have the winter months when uh, refineries go offline because of tornadoes and hurricanes. You have increased demand then. And also, they're at full capacity right now. They're trained down based upon recession. So these levels are great now. They're not going to stay there. How much are they going to go up? Not an enormous amount. Don't expect that eye-watering <laughs> $6 anytime again soon, but it's going to go back up. Meantime, the food prices are straight up. They have not gone down. They went up month to month. The rent, which is called shelter in the CPI, is up month to month, up year to year date. And that is up. Uh, that is a 30% component of the CPI. So if you believe the energy costs, which are your heating oil, your electric, like AC, are going to be higher in the month of August because you're churning up that, that, those utilities, then you believe the CPI may track higher or stay flat. My opinion is it's going to be at least flat. It's going to be at least flat. And if that's the case, then your benefits are going up an enormous amount. And that, my friends, is why you have to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Why do you have to get that forced stimulus check in every U.S. state? Why do you need to become a member of this channel? Because there's a lot going on. First, we have about four different components of this economy, and they're going in different directions. The first one is inflation. There is no indication today that inflation is going down anytime soon and let me make very specific, there's no indication inflation is going down this year to something of normality, like a 3% or a 4%. I had said the Fed has to hope it gets to 4%. It looks like this year may end with inflation about 6% or 7% by December because it is hardly moving down. 
you can't survive an economy with pervasive inflation because your goods and your milk, your eggs stay very elevated for many, many months. Number two, we are likely in a recession. I analyze this in the second half. Third, we have a major strain on labor that is really in and out. The jobless claims surged out of control yesterday, Thursday, August 11th, 262,000 new jobless claims, largest number, most unemployment claims of this year. While the labor rate is the best number since 1969, conflicting data, yeah, what you need to know, it's, it's not a good environment. You can't assume it's all good. And then finally, you have the apples and the oranges. You have the stock market where the apples are the apples. <laughs> the apples companies. The companies that can survive a recession, can survive, survive runaway inflation. It's people who want to spend $400 a cell phone or a thousand. What am I saying? $400 a cell phone. It's $1,000 a cell phone. People who want to spend $1,000 a cell phone every year will always spend $1,000 a cell phone every year. Uh, I am not that person. <laughs> And that company will do well in a recession or inflationary environment. The small companies that, you know, don't turn a profit, don't have a billion dollars of cash on hand, they're stall smaller startup companies that are publicly traded, they'll go under. And that type of situation is very telling. That's why I have to get that for someone's check in every USA. Let's go over that incredible check starting right now. That for someone's check in every US state became a law in the month of March, and it's federal stimulus. It's from the federal government. It's not from your state. It's not paid by your state. It's not from your state. They don't keep track of it on your state. And where do you get that incredible check? What is at issue with that incredible check? Step one, go on this video and join the channel. Become a member. Step two, stay the big second half as we go over those incredible checks. But we're going to go over an overview of these checks starting right now. These incredible checks became law in the month of March. It's a lot of money. It's about $100,000 done by the President of the United States, by executive action, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. It's about $100,000. Why would you not get it? A lot of viewers are getting a lot more than that. Some viewers are getting $200,000. Get these incredible checks. How do you get it? In a second, we'll go over it. Done by executive action of Joseph Biden. Go into this video and get these incredible checks. Pass the month of March. They're federal money. They're not from your state. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, go get it as well. Become a member. Go right on this video and become a member. And in the big second half, we're going to go over these incredible checks one at a time with you. You deserve these incredible checks, and they're very simple to get. And they're all in the membership newsletter. Step one, you join this channel. Step two, you get the membership newsletter. And step three, you go through that membership newsletter and you go get those checks. And viewers have been doing it every single day since this channel launched. And they've been cleaning up. This channel's gotten people $50 million since the launch. This week, we've had a lot of success stories. If you've had a success story, send it to me on private message on facebook.com forward slash LA news. And also post it in the live chat. Now, once you become a member, you want to go into that membership newsletter. And down around the third line, I'll say that again because there's always someone who says, uh, I missed it. Where? The third line. <laughs> About the third line of the newsletter. One line, two lines, third line. There it is. It says newsletter. It, it, it says worksheet. It is the wonderful worksheets. And these wonderful worksheets are really helping people. All this is unique to Ally. This is why this channel is winning. And these worksheets really help you. Let's go over the worksheets. It's a PDF. Print it out from your cell phone or your computer or download it and follow along and take notes on a separate piece of paper. It helps you understand and navigate this economy. It helps you understand how to get stimulus. So page one, inflation. Well, we had those inflationary prints that came out this week, the CPI on Wednesday, the PPI on Thursday, and they both pulled down a little bit, but not anything significantly. Basically flat because the decrease was less than a percentage point. This is great news for your benefits. And the reports that are coming in from those Fed governors, the comments, I should say, Bowman, Daly, Bollard, all say that inflation is going to be pervasive at this point. I've been saying that for a long time. We'll go over more about that pervasive inflation into next year in the big second half. But this raises your benefits up a lot. Big second half, we're going to go over that recessionary environment as well. Two camps saying uh, different things. I'm at the camp that says this is a recession, and it's going to be far more pronounced than initially thought. Labor. This is also conflicting because we have the jobless claims, the highest numbers of 2022 released yesterday, and then we have the labor rate, the best number since the 1960s. 
How can that be? We'll have more about that tonight on Evening's LA. Federal Reserve, we already went over that. They're going to have a 75 basis point is my prediction, and most people agree with me, in September. The next page of the worksheet is that wonderful page to keep track of your stimulus, and let's go over that incredible page. One viewer got 14 months of rent this last week. Another viewer got 12 months of utilities. Another viewer got 12 months of, of 10 months of utilities. And then Spelly got check A and a lot of check C's. Uh, that is the success stories that should breed your confidence as well. Here is that second page. It is a table to keep track of the stimulus you apply for because you're going to be applying for a lot of stimulus. What you learn in the newsletter is that there's a lot of different stimulus. It's not one call, phone call, do and done. It's not done and it's not do and done. What's that expression? Did and done, do and did, did it and do it. <laughs> Diddy and done it. Uh, Puff Daddy. I don't. No, it is not a do it and done it. It is not one call and you're done. There's a lot of checks in that newsletter. How many? I'm going to show you in just a second. So you need to get track of all those incredible checks you apply for, and the date you apply, the date you pay, the period of payments, the amount, and the co and the contact. One viewer did that. She just didn't look at her notes. <laughs> she didn't look at her worksheet. She wrote it on the work. She didn't look at it. She got that message from the state of Florida about two Thursdays ago. It said, man, you've been approved. Approved? For what? Check B. Wow, congratulations. What was her check B? Mortgage. Wow, that's great news. It gets better. She got approved for 18 months of mortgage. 18 months of mortgage? Wow, that's a lot of money. That's not $1,000. That's tens of thousands of dollars. Imagine she became a member and she got tens of thousands of dollars from this channel. It pays to be a member, but it gets better than that. She applied for all her utilities. All her utilities plus her mortgage, let's say the utilities are four checks per month, and her mortgage, that's five times 18 months. Five times 18 months, that is 80 to 100 checks. Yes, 80 to 100 checks, that is not $80,000. That's a lot more than $80,000. This is the success that this channel breeds, and you should be the next success story as well. All you have to do is go into this video, join the channel, then go down and get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Start going through these incredible checks. And of course, stay the second half because I'm going to go through each of these checks. We go through them on this channel. I do that to have a detail for you. It's so straightforward. It's so organized. It's everywhere. And it's for you in the big second half. Become a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino you know, VIP. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. We got a lot coming up in that big second half, plus the recessionary concerns and the pervasive inflationary concerns. There's so much coming up in the big second half. It's a beautiful day going into a beautiful weekend. We'll have a lot of breaking news this weekend, so you better stay with me all weekend long. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. Don't forget to become a member during the commercial break. Join this channel and after the commercial break, we'll go over all these incredible checks. Plus, we'll go over what you need to know about this economy. It's just getting started. The breaking news on a beautiful afternoon. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. 
And the excitement continues right now in a beautiful afternoon for August 12, 2022. It's a big week, and the weekend will be bigger than that. You know, it's one of those weeks where we had a lot of data that came in, but it really was the major data that was not covered on this channel was housing. A new report out today says there's a major problem in the housing industry, and that problem is people cannot afford their rent, cannot afford their homes. And imagine if you can't afford both of them, what do you do? You need money. And that is why you need that for so much check in every U.S. state. Become a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cal Senior VIP, because people are going to need money for that rent. They're going to need money for that mortgage. They're going to need money for those utility bills. And this is a story that's not going to go away anytime soon. The landlords are getting the money. The mortgages are going up, especially their fl flexible mortgage rates. And inflation is very pervasive. That is why you want to get that for so much check in every U.S. state. And in this big second half, we're going to go over those incredible checks starting right now i've been getting people rent and utilities since the very first day of this channel so i know how to do this and it doesn't matter what's going off congress there will always be rent and utilities i can get for you there's a lot of places to get it and that is why the benefit of the membership is here and always with you let's go over these incredible checks back in the month of march the president of the united states did a series of executive actions at the same time viewers said la find us some checks because congress wasn't getting it done and i did a series of massive checks. Those incredible checks had dual focuses for me. First, I wanted big checks because I was the only American broadcaster in February saying we're going to recession. No one would dare say the R word in February this year. And I said two years of recession, so I wanted you to make sure you have big checks because I care for you. And we found that, about $100,000. Number two, broad eligibility. I want to make sure you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you merit on benefits, you're on all benefits, go get it. And let me make this clear, because I haven't hit it as hard as I can often hit it. It's in every U.S. state. This is not money from your state. Do not pick up the phone and ask your state for a wad of cash. This is not money coming from your state. It's coming from the federal government. It's from the federal government. And that is why there's money in every U.S. state. The other part of the money comes from the nonprofits. It's not coming from your state. So the state has nothing to do with it. Don't pick up the phone. Don't even list them in your we dial on your phone. <clears throat> so with that, let's go over these incredible checks. And how do you get them? You become a member. You go to the membership newsletter. You apply, apply, apply. I'm going to go through all these incredible checks one at a time starting right now. The very first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. Here it is, that beauty. It is incredible. This is the check that Spelly got. The weatherizing grant check, $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, join this channel. Go under the video, join the channel, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, so you know VIP. Then go down to where it says check A, click the link. There it is, and apply. It sends you right into the nationwide website, choose your state, and go get it. Huge sums of money. You're not done that yet. Get a good check B. This is the check that that viewer out of Florida got. 80 checks she got. Incredible. That should be your success story today as well. 15, 80,000, but in her case, she got more than that. Single individual, 75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, 150,000 less. Go get it. And if you want benefits, go get it as well. How do you get it? Step one, join this channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well. You're watching the number th three most watched financial news channel in America. It's LA News. Welcome to all the new hundreds of new members. If you're a member, stay a member. I got to tell you, you're going to have problems with bills later this year. I'm helping you get bills paid all year long. So don't come in and get one bill and then run for it because guess what happens? It's going to be too hard to catch up with the other bills later this year. Stay ahead of the ball game. Keep on getting checks on a regular basis with Ally. I'll show you how to do that in the big second half. And welcome to all the wonderful members who upgraded. A lot of people have been upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power and similar. And then go down to check B and click the link and go right in and apply. Go right and apply. It sends you right into the nationwide website. Choose your saying you're ready to rock and roll. You're not done there yet. You're going to go to check C. Check C is a wonderful amount of money for rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. This is the check that has been on this channel for the longest. Check C has been called a lot of things. It was called Purple. It has a show called Purple on this channel. It was called Third Simulus. This is the residue of Third Simulus. And as I teased earlier in this video... I believe that Check C will be the most important check of this channel this winter because the rent is going through the roof. It's not going down. The mortgages are going up because the interest rates, the utility bills are going to go up. You know why. I don't have to tell you that. You, you're smart. 
that's why you got to get check C. And I've been teaching you for a while. Uh, first of all, how do you get check C? You go into the video, become a member, then go to the newsletter. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, let me go over something really different on Check C today, because that's why you got to watch every video, because there's always something different. For Check C, there's a lot of important moving parts on it today. First, a lot of utility bills that you have right now are not that expensive because it's summer. So your, a your electric bill for AC may be high, but your heating oil is not that high. Go get the heating oil paid for. Why? To establish that relationship with the payor, whoever it is, the nonprofit or the county. Because when you go back to ask for that money later this year, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be behind and they have big bills. And you may have a big bill as well, but they will know you because you spoke to them six months earlier, four months earlier. That relationship is what you're going to put on that worksheet in that page that says, the second page says, who paid you? Jesse at extension 4211 helped me get $45 for my heating oil in August and now in October when you go back to him maybe it's 250 you remember me Jesse yeah do a little uh, small talk learn a little bit about him and his family because that's a relationship you want to establish for check C there's a lot of places to get check C's paid for about 12 of them six uh, government company government agencies in the newsletter six nonprofits so there's a lot of places to get check C and imagine how many people are going to be asking for check C this winter. Oh, boy, a lot. They're going to be coming on this challenge in swarms. You'll be ahead of the ball game because you will establish that relationship and gain money right away. And the success stories from check C have been robust. Let's And these other checks, let's look at them right now. In the year and a half that we've been doing this, look at this. You want these numbers for rent, go, get it. go become a member. How about these numbers for utilities? Mark Spellerman got 15000 and SNAP. And then combination of checks. Nisi went from twenty-three to fifty thousand. Mark went from thirty-two to one hundred sixty-six thousand. Yes, you heard me right, one sixty-six. Lorraine went from one hundred five to one hundred fifty. So much to know and so much to get. What are these viewers doing on a regular basis? They're in all the live chats. They're continually applying for checks, and they don't stop. And they keep on motivating themselves. Motivate one another. Motivate yourself. This is an effort. This is a this is a, a champion spirit that you can breed. Go in and get these incredible checks. And with that, let's go over what's going on with the rest of this economy and what are we looking at in this data coming in later today and all throughout the weekend. First, is inflation going to be pervasive? Yes, there's no indication that inflation is going away. The fact that CPI or PPI print this week went down a half basis point, a half a percentage point, who cares? That's not anything of a move. That's flat. Federal Reserve wants inflation down to 2 3%. They're not getting it there. That means those interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve, in my opinion, could be 75 basis points for a very long time. Wall Street has not embedded that risk into the, into the market. And I got to tell you, if they've not embedded the risk into the market, the market's going to take a big tumble when that 75 basis point comes in October <laughs> or November. They're like, wait a second, I didn't expect this to come. Well, you weren't watching LA. I expect that to be happening because they've made it clear they're going to do it. And I don't know why the equity traders are betting against the Federal Reserve. And that is what Citibank said today. Don't expect a pivot. Don't expect the Federal Reserve to do something differently than what they're saying they're going to do. Why would you expect that? Number two, recession. So recession today is getting clearly a different definition or at least a different portrayal will there be a pervasive recession well and there are two camps one that says there is no recession that's sort of ridiculous and the other camp that's mine that says there is a recession is a recession is going to be pervasive longer felt more deeply impacted and who are is that camp the bond traders the the, the the inverted curve is not as inverted as it was in recent days but it's still inverted the oil traders are trained down gasoline belief based upon the belief there's going to be stretching. But here's what you need to know. There is some talk today, and I got to tell you, it's very on the edges. It's not well defined yet. That most people are now starting to believe there will be recession, but it may not be as pervasively hitting every part of the economy at the same time as prior recessions. Some recessions that have hit this economy in prior decades were so hard felt 
they hit every walk and life of this economy at the same time that you're just like, oh my God, everything is going to hell in a hell basket at the same time. And then yet, you see the stories. You know, a house in 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 South Florida went for a record sum this morning on Singer Island. You see these enormous wealth stories. And so the uber wealth are getting richer and and some parts of the upper middle class are, are surviving the negative turn downturns of the economy. So you may not, and you certainly saw earlier in this recording where I said you Apple and those companies that have hundreds of millions of dollars of cash on hand can certainly afford a downward spiral. And you see the demand for the iPhone really strong. So you may not see the real cataclysmic recessionary implosion left and right throughout the remainder of this year, but you can't risk it. And that is why you have to stay with me. Again, that analysis that I just went over with you, or commentary, I guess I should say, that is not mine, it's from other sources, is very percolating. It's not well-defined yet. What my, define, my definition is a recession is going to be here for two years. Recession is going to be here for two years, and if a recession is here for two years, stock market has a long way down to go. Uh, crypto will go down. Housing will, go, will soften. It may not crash. And labor will implode because labor falls apart later in a recession, not at the start of the recession. So good times are here to stay? No, because good times are here to stay is not at the start of the recession. The end of the recession is where we look at where things get worse and we're just getting started in this narrative. It's a community where people care about each other. It's a community where people bond together. It's a community where people get money and prepare for every step of the way, whether it's a financial cliff no less than 30 days away, potentially, where we understand to remove uh, adjustable rate debt and increase our stimulus is so much to know. And we have a lot of loving and a lot of a learning to come up later on this channel. We have a brand new we have brand new programming throughout the day, including LA Live. Jump in that live show if you're not watching it now. And evenings LA like tonight at five o'clock. Don't forget to become a member. Welcome to the new members. Stay a member and join me all weekend long because I will be with you all weekend long. There's a lot to go over. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a beautiful day. And thank you again for joining me on a big show of Afternoons LA Light. Oh, 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 oh,